an introduction in complex numbers example one find the solution set of the following equations in r a x square minus one equals zero b x square plus one equals zero we want to find the solution set of these two equations in the set of real numbers solution with respect to a we have x square equal one as x square minus one equal zero so x square equals one and x equals positive or negative square root of one which equal positive or negative one both one and the negative one are two real numbers so we can say that solution set equals one and the negative one and the graph of this function is a curve intersect x axis at two points negative one and zero one and zero the two x coordinates negative one and one are the solution set so the solution set also from the graph one and the negative one b x squared plus one equals zero then x squared equals negative one and x equals the positive or negative root negative one in this case root negative one doesn't belong to set of real numbers so solution set is the ambit set which equal phi when you draw a graph to represent the function x squared plus one uh, f of x equals x squared plus one we got this graph and it will not intersect x axis at any point so solution set equals phi i power two equals negative one now we have an imagine number to represent root negative one as root negative one equals i root negative one equals i and here we have a new set it is a set of complex numbers so root negative one equals i and root negative two equals two multiply uh, negative one which equal root two multiply root negative one which equal root two i so we have a solution for this root negative two equals root two i also root negative three equals root three multiply root uh, multiply negative one and we can write root three multiply root negative one which equal root three i in general root negative n equals root negative 1 multiply n which equal root n i where n belongs to r positive i power 1 equals i i power 2 equals negative 1 i power 3 equals i square multiply i as the sum of the two powers of i 2 plus 1 equal 3 what is the value of i square i square is negative 1 so negative 1 multiply i equals the negative i so i power 3 on the simplest form equals the negative i i power 4 to simplify it we write it in the form i square multiply i square which equal negative 1 multiply negative 1 which equal 1 so the simplest form of i power 4 is 1 again the simplest form of i square is negative 1 i power 3 is negative i i power 4 equals to 1 what about r uh, i power 5 i power 5 equals i power 4 multiply i and the i power 4 equals 1 so we have 1 multiply i equals i so 
the simplest form of i power 5 is i and in general i power 4 n equals i equals 1 i power 4 n equals 1 uh, when n equal 10 for example we have i power 40 and i power 40 equal 1 if the power is one of multiples of 4 so i equal 1 i power 16 equal 1 and so on where n belongs to z i power 4 n plus 1 equals i because i power 4 n plus 1 equals i power 4 n multiply i so the result equal i i power 4 n plus 2 equals i square which equal negative 1 again i power 4 n plus 1 equals equals i i power 4 n plus 2 equals i power 2 equals the negative 1 i power 4 n plus 3 equals i power 3 so it is equal negative i examples find each of the following in the simplest form i power 30 i power 43 i power uh, negative 61 i power 4 n plus 19 solution i power 30 30 here equals 28 plus 2 and the 28 is a multiple of 4 so we can write i power 30 equals i power 4 multiply 7 multiply i square so the result of uh, i of i power 30 is i square because i power 28 equals 1 i power 2 equals negative 1 so the result equal negative 1 1 multiply negative 1 equals negative 1 i power 43 equals i power 40 multiply i power 3 and the i power 40 40 is a multiple of 4 4 by 10 i power 40 equals 1 i power 3 equals negative i so the result equal negative i so the simplest form of i power 43 is negative i i power negative 61 i power negative 61 equals i power negative 64 multiply i power 3 again i power negative 61 equals i power i power negative 64 multiply i power 3 because negative 64 plus 3 equals negative 61 here we have i power 4 times negative 16 don't forget 4 multiply negative 16 is negative 64 so we have the power here is a multiple of 4 so the result of this term is is 1 and now we have 1 multiply i power 3 i power 3 equals negative i so the product equals negative i and the simplest form of i power negative 61 is negative i. d i power 4n plus 19 equals i power 4n. i power 4n multiply i power 19. i power 4n equal 1 because 4n is a multiple of 4 i power 19 is i power 16 here we have 16 plus 3 you can write 16 direct 
and the i power 16 or i power 4 all power 4 equals 1 so we have 1 1 multiply 1 equals 1 multiply multiply i power 3 i power 3 and the i power 3 from previous page equals negative i so the simplest form equals negative i and the simplest form of i power 4n plus 19 equals negative i question 1 find each of the following in the simplest form again we have i power 24 i power 37 i power negative 43 i power negative 51 i power 4n plus 29 i power 4n plus 42 of course we have many methods to solve these problems to simplify these uh, numbers i power 24 equals 1 why because 24, 24 is a multiple of 4 24 divide 4 equals 6 and the 24 is a multiple of 4 so i power 24 equals 1 i power 37 we can write it i power 36 it is a multiple of 4 multiply i don't forget when we multiply we add powers so 36 plus 1 equals 37 what is the value of i power 36 it is 1 multiply i equals i and the i here is the simplest form of i power 37 i power negative 43 is question c i power negative 43 negative 40 i power negative 43 equals i power negative 43 multiply 1 1 multiply i power negative 43 equals i power negative 43 but 1 equals i power 44 as 44 is a multiple of 4 and when we add powers to simplify this we have i power negative 43 plus 44 which equal i power 1 negative 43 plus 44 equals i power 1 which equal i so the simplest form of i power negative 43 is i i power negative 51 we write it in the form i power negative 51 multiply 1 and 1 equals i power 52 as 52 is a multiple of 4 when you divide 52 divide 4 you will get 13 so i power negative 51 multiply up i power 52 equals when you add powers what you get you will get i power 1 which equal 1 i power negative 51 plus i uh, plus 52 equals i power 1 so the simplest form of i power negative 51 is i i power 4n plus 29 i power 4n as n belongs to z so we have 4n is a multiple of 4 equals i multiply i power 29 1 multiply i power 29 equals i power 28 plus 1 and the i power 28 equals 1 as 28 equals 4 multiply 7 so 28 is a multiple of 4 multiply i power 1 which equal i i power 4 4n plus 42 equals i power 42 and 42 equals 40 multiply i square i power 40 equals 1 1 multiply i power 2 equals i power 2 and i power 2 equals negative 1 